darn good Speaker of the House. Thank you very much. I'm very honored to be here with you today and to be in this constituency which has sent us a great senator and an outstanding speaker pro tem of the Ohio House of Representatives. When I first went to the uh, House of Representatives in 1968, the unbalancedness of our budget was minute by any comparison to what we face today. In 1970, our un unbalanced budget, I insist on referring to it, $381 billion. By 2012, $17 trillion. Those kinds of numbers are absolutely unbelievable. And the burden that they're going to place upon those who follow us is equally unbelievable. By 2020, this nation will have it accumulated debt of $25 trillion. It is absolutely unbelievable the irresponsibility of people who have been leading in Washington, not Congressman Stivers, who has been on this since he went there. I think it, it's just hard for me to imagine and to see what that means for the future. To see what it meant in Greece in Italy, in Spain, during the past year, just a small debt compared to ours, brought down governments, created riots and revolutions. Ladies and gentlemen, that should not be the story of these United States of America. The vision that I have is of my grandchildren. I have four grandchildren. All of them are very bright, I'm confident. Well, one of them doesn't talk. I'm not too sure about him. But <laughs> very bright. But I have to say to you today that I'm not sure what kind of a nation they are going to grow up in. Thomas Jefferson said, to preserve our independence, we must not let our rulers load us with debt in a perpetual growing debt. I wish it were possible to obtain a single amendment to the Constitution, an additional article taking from the federal government the power of borrowing. This was one of the framers of our Constitution who foresaw what could happen and indeed would never have imagined what has happened. Alexander Hamilton, who believed in the ability to borrow, said we may safely rely on the disposition of the state legislatures, of the state legislatures to erect barriers against the encroachments of national authority. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor for us to be here today with you and to warn that we are on the brink of disaster in terms of this nation's future. It is up to us. It is up to us as individuals, it is up to us as public servants, it is up to us to draw the line in the sand, to see to it that this brink of disaster that we are approaching is stopped, and that we turn this nation's debt picture around for our future, for our children and grandchildren's future, and for the freedom of the whole world. 